if you actually want to eat healthier and fresher food. Yeah, that's everyone. So people here, raise your hand again if you are concerned about like where your food is actually coming from when you are buying food from grocery stores. Yeah, so that's our plan. Okay, so our, our idea is to create a local community market. So what we create is really powerful partnerships between local farms, our uh, community um, scent like, uh, market, and then our customers. So we create a really powerful partnership and a lot of transparency between farmers and customers, which pulls everybody together and creates a more sustainable um, food production system. Next slide. So our goal number one, we're going to create a community, community market that sells products that reduce the use of plastic by 50%. Compared to the average community market within downtown Toronto. And we are going to create a transparent food life cycle. So think about something like so think about something like Bulk Barn, where they have bulk bins, and then combine that sort of with the open produce section of the average grocery store. And by combining these, we create um, a system that allows us to reduce plastic by 50% um, when we first open it. Uh, so our wait. Our, our second goal is we're going to reduce the amount of plastic used by each person per trip to our community market by 80% within a year from store opening. So our second goal is we're going to help local farmers by connecting over 100 farmers to our customer base. We will also help farmers by we actually buying local products and sell them in our community markets and donating the unsold products to local food banks, which can actually minimize food waste. So for example, Matt, so think about the way you buy, for example, apples at your average grocery store. You don't know where they're coming from, you don't know who grew them, you don't know what farm they came from. At our community market, we would have a little label that says, this is the farmer by name who grew these apples. This is the farm they came from. This is how far away they were. And these are all the details about where they come from. So you get a story behind every product you buy, and this creates a really loyal customer base because they know exactly where everything is coming from. Yeah, so we don't, we don't only sell the products, but we also sell the story and all the healthy stuff behind it. So we have a lot of some, uh, the way we're going to implement this solution, we have a lot of ways. However, due to time constraint, I will only be talking about one of them being reusable containers and bags, which are accessible open house stores free of charge. So how this, would, how, so how this is going to work is if customers can take home reusable containers by paying a small deposit, $5, which will be returned when the customer returns to the store. What this allows is us to operate a zero-waste store while still ensuring a pleasant shopping experience for our consumers. We also create a membership system that has a card, and this allows us to keep track of what containers somebody's taken home. It allows us to send people emails to say, hey, we have fresh um, zucchinis in, we know you buy zucchinis, so here we have fresh zucchinis, you can come in and buy them. Or we could send somebody a notice saying, hey, your jar is due back next week, maybe come in and drop it off, or we're going to charge you a small fee because you've kept it too long. Sort of like how a library works, where you have a set amount of time you can keep the reusable, the reusable jar. Yeah, so by making a relationship and a connection between the local farmers and my, our customers, we actually have something called a farm, bar, a farm open house day, where like, uh, those customers and their family, they can go to the local farm and they can have different workshops and activities in the local farm and to see like, where their food are actually coming from. Next slide. Oh, and also, um, actually, food waste is a huge problem now. So we're going to try to eliminate it by actually donating our leftovers or like those not very perfect products to the local uh, food banks, which is a part of our charity. All right, um, we're going to have questions from the judges and from the audience now. So one of the challenges existing with some local food markets right now is that there's no real standards about who's a vendor there. And so sometimes you have these vendors there that are marketing themselves as local, but they're actually selling produce that's from out of province, out of country. So how are you going to make sure that you are keeping your products local and within the local market? 
For sure. So what we would do is have a real focus on sending people to visit farms, to talk to farmers, to 100% confirm their practices are what they say they are. And that's part of our guarantee for our customers that we, instead of ha having to force them to look into where all their food comes from, we do it for them. So we look into everything so they can feel um, safe and, and sure that everything that they buy is sustainable because we've already double checked for them. How are you planning on competing with Fresh City Farms? They have kind of a similar model where they source locally. Um, actually, they grow it themselves to cut costs. So I would imagine they'd probably be able to offer cheaper prices. So how would you compete with other people coming into this space? Um, well, we could offer specialty items. So for example, we could connect with farmers that grow specialty products that, that um, maybe other farms don't have. Or we could offer, um, like we would also have bulk bins and things like that. So we could offer cheaper prices on bulk bins, potentially if we buy in um, large amounts. Yeah. Um, essentially, by, um, how will you transport the goods from different farmers? Because what would that create waste itself? Uh, so, like emissions? Yeah. Yeah, so we would have to, we would have to use trucks to transport it, uh, but it is reduced because our food is local, so compared like to sending something in from the U.S., it's obviously way less if we're bringing it in from Ontario and like Quebec and closer provinces. Yeah, just to add on, so basically this is very like a community-based thing. So it's going to be within the community, very local, and it's like even in the community centers or like just near your house. Yeah. Yes. So since it's community-based, uh, I remember you discussed about having a membership and also providing bags but that are using Useful, but how do you make money from this? Uh, well, we don't make money specifically from that. Um, it's it's neutral. So essentially, like we give people things, they pay a deposit, and then once they bring it back, uh, they get that deposit back. Right. So okay. we, how, how does the business make money to sustain the cost of operating the market? Uh, well, we make money from our sales, so produce of, of stuff in bulk bins, and then um, other products that we would have around the store. Yeah, because basically we are still like selling our vegetables and fruits, so we are making money from that, instead of like many, making money from other aspects. Yes. Right, um, that's all the time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>